Hei! Ne vedem? Ne vedem, da, adică eu ce puțin mă văd acum, nu știu. Hai să vedem. Dacă ne vedem. Bună, bună! Ok. Ok. Suntem? Da, suntem, suntem. Bună, bună! Bine ați venit la Sugar Flowers and Dreams. Eu sunt Lydia, iar cu spatele este Mariana. Hello! O să spun câteva cuvinte în română, însă acest tutorial îl vom ține de această dată în a bună ora. Îl vom, îl vom susține în engleză. Nu vă spărați pe noi. În, în română vom, vom face multe, multe, Asta multe tutoriale. Acest tutorial îl vom ține de această dată în a bună ora. Imediat. Îl vom, îl vom susține în engleză. Nu vă spărați pe noi. Nu mai o clipă ca să rezolvăm această problemă tehnică. Vom face multe tutoriale. Este primul tutorial pe care îl facem, așa că... A, bună, Gloria! Nu știu de la cine am primit o inimă, o superbă inimă, foarte, foarte, foarte mare. Dar mulțumesc! Da. Deci, cum spuneam, vom susține acest tutorial în limba engleză, după care va vor urma toate celelalte în limba română. Dar acest tutorial se referă la clematis. Așa. Hai, Flor! Flor de Maria! Hola! Ok. Acum permiteți-mi să-i să salut și pe, mă, pe cei care nu sunt vorbitori de limba română, astfel încât să nu se simtă nimeni uh, scos, din, uh, scos din, uh, din context. So, hi everybody! I promised you that I'm, uh, I'm taking this class in English first, so you are the first to, uh, to have this live video with us in English. We're going to, uh, to make some beautiful clematis i'm going to show you uh, all the materials i'm using such as the molds for the leaves for instance the molds for the petals these are our own brand which is called wisteria sugar art we all we make them all handmade one by one these are for some petals And some other leaves here. Okay. We have cutters, we have the wires to show you, we have the, um, uh, the gum paste to show you, we have everything to show you, including this lovely rose. Look at it. It's a lovely rose, has no wire at all. Just a very good quality gum paste and very good hands very good technique și noi te îmbrățișem Elena mulțumim frumos bună Mihaela bună the paste we're going to use the gum paste we're going to use is satinized gum paste why is that? it's because first of all it's the paste that I've known more than 15 and 15 15 years ago and uh, when I've discovered it I had to learn by myself how to use it which wasn't very uh, very easy at first but then it became like you know like uh, riding a bike so you never forget and you know exactly exactly how it will work in certain con under certain certain conditions Uh, one thing I want to mention from the, from the start, so as nobody has, um, has anything to say about that, Satin Ice never paid me to advertise for them. It's just my, uh, from my own will, 
and because I love and know by heart this product. All right. Then the other materials that I'm going to to use, except for my own molds, are the Hamilton uh, Hamilworth sorry Hamilworth wires. These are the best wires that I've ever tried, and I've tried. I've tried some. Okay. So we're going to use these. We're going to use um, very good cutters that I'm importing from England. As I said, all the molds that I'm using are um, our own brand. We make uh, we make them through um, out of um, uh, plastic silicone, and we make them after petals, real petals and real leaves, one by one by hand, handmade them. The, um, again, the paper, the flower paper that I'm, that I'm using is also Hamilworth uh, brand. It's very good. I think it's the best brand actually that I've ever used. All right. And, um, I don't know. It's about that. Oh, yes. Um, as far as the um, edible glue is concerned, I've done uh, I've done it myself. Yes, you can uh, you can obviously uh, buy some. There are lots of brands, but I I rather do it by myself because I can do it in small small amounts. And when it's no good to me, I can throw it away. I don't cry after the after. Bonjour, Jenny. I don't cry after um, um, letting it go. How do I do it? I use some Tylo powder, just a little bit, for this amount, which is 20 cc, I think. For this amount, it's just a really a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of um, of Tylo powder. I boil my water, let it um, let it cool, and then dissolve the Tylo in into it. It will stick gorgeously on your wire, so onto your uh, on your, on your leaves and petals. Okay. I also uh, I don't I don't know. I also Buda uh, Daniela. I'm also using some Crisco. I just put a little bit here. Um, where is the Crisco? Crisco. Uh, so tricks. So Crisco or Trex, you can use any of them, or obviously, if any of these are available in your country, you can use um, um, palm oil that, that is hardened. So you can put it in a little bit in the fridge, and then it will be quite all right. It will do exactly the same thing. The important thing is not to have too much grease on your hands or on your board, on your working board, but also not to be... Uh, not to be left without. So, look at it. Tracks. Other material that we we need. Yes, uh, my sister Mary. Uh, she's um, she has a very good idea. She's asking if you can hear us, hear me, all right. So, could you please somebody tell me, let me know. Hmm? Can you hear me? Nobody's answering. Oh, well, I hope, I hope you can hear me. So I carry on. I carry on with the uh, with the mm -hmm. brushes. Sorry, I had a okay brushes. Buna Mihaila, Buna, Bina Venit. As far as the brushes are concerned, I love using flat brushes. Just flat, flat ones. And the ones that are, we can see that, like that. I'm only using them for very, very small details, very precise details. Otherwise, I'm using flat brushes and sometimes the ones that have the uh, the corners rounded and I'll show you why in an instant 
I tend to have one brush for any main color. What does it mean? It means that I have a brush for white, black, red, yellow, blue, green, and violet. So any shades, any shade of, of these colors, I'm using them, I'm, I'm putting them on the flowers with the single brush. Also, the very important thing is to not allow your brushes, you know, don't kill your brushes while doing that all too much, too hard. Just be, be kind and use them, you know, lightly. And in order to use them lightly, you have to have enough powder, powder color on, on the tip of your brush. I'll show you in an instant how to do that. What do you gain while using, using them properly? So the hair, the hair on your brush, they want, you know, they want flower like that. You know, they won't open like that. So these brushes, if you can believe, I'm using them, I don't know, for three, four years now. Yes. So all my flowers were made of more colored with these brushes. I also um, wash them seldom, you know. Why is that? Since you have a brush for any, particular, any, any type of color, any group of colors, you don't have to brush, you don't have to, um, uh, to wash them. What do you earn doing that? Well, you, you still have your brush for a long, long time. Also, uh, the consume of your color, you don't waste your color. And uh, your brush will allow you and um, the brush will uh, will allow you to spread the color the the, the small particles of um, of dust alongside the uh, the leaves and petals very finely and uniformly if i can say well i'm not english uh, native so bear me bear with me please anyway i, sh I shall show you how to how to use them Oh, but in order to finish, uh, just let me show you how eventually you, um, you're going to, um, to clean them. So you put your brush into a small, into a small pot of, uh, of uh, warm water. You just tip it in. You do that on your palm. You just do that with your brush. You do this movement. In doing so, you will take all the bulk of color away. You wash it under um, under um, uh, clean water, and then put a little bit of detergent, washing detergent. You put in um, into um, into your palm, onto your palm, and then do that again. And then you just do that this movement. It's all you do until all the color go away, and it go away. It goes away eventually. Believe me. And then just under the tap, tap of your sink, you just let it clean away everything that, that is left. And then hang it and it will uh, dry by itself before you hang it and then you do that. You just squeeze a little bit all the excess water and just hang it upside down in order to, to let the water go away and not like that because it will ruin the wood. Okay? So that's a little bit about uh, about brushes, which is very, very, very important. If you want to have very nice flowers, very well painted, well dusted, uh, rather, it's very important to have nice, good quality brushes, but well... Uh, uh, taken care of. Okay. So we're going to make today, I'm going to show you how you can do the middle of, uh, of a clematis. This is just thread and this has a little bit of, um, of cornstarch, colored cornstarch. 
I colored it with uh, with some dust in any color I want. Just mix it and then tip the um, uh, tip the the good. Anyway, so tip it into a little bit of um, uh, a variable glue and then into um, into your cornstarch, colored cornstarch, and it will give you tips like that colored compared to you know as opposed to this one that has nothing at all okay hai să vedem dacă s-au mai adunat oamenii da nu știu dacă ne aud ar fi bine să ne spună și nouă cineva pot poate să spună vă rog frumos cineva dacă ne auziți noi credem că ne auziți însă nu sunt nu sunt sigură Marilena e face cu mâna Ștefan Nicoleta la fel și vouă, bună fetelor. Că nu știu, că noi nu am... Apparently 43 people is watching, are watching us, but I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Se aude foarte bine. Mulțumesc frumos, Monela. Mulțumesc. Ne se aude foarte bine. Da? Da. Ok. okay. În regulă. Another way to make the um, uh, the center of clematis is using gum paste just like you would do perhaps for magnolias if you want to it all depends on you it all depends on the uh, the kind of work you need to uh, to do and also it it all depends if your flowers are going to be you know moved away or yeah that, that that's very important I would rather go I would rather go for um, the thread ones like that because I can do whatever I want with them I can make them stay open or you know just get them, put them together like that it all depends on us okay I have already prepared some um, some petals and leaves because is not is not our um, our aim is not to uh, to spend a day while showing you how to make um, how to make the the petals and leaves because it's all exercise so i'll just show you how to make a few of them a couple of them and then you can uh, you can just repeat that and i'm pretty sure everything is going to be all right so I've done these very late last night, some, um, uh, some petals, some clematis petals, using, as I said, my own, uh, my own uh, veiners. And they are thin, not very, very, very thin, because once they, uh, they touch together, they can split and then they can burst open. Also, I've done some... Uh, some leaves and they look like that and look the nice veiners that we have at the back yep and obviously I will show you how to color them how, how to dust them and how to dust them properly because this is one main thing that can put up you know put in value your, your flowers or put them down it all depends on the way you color them not only how you make them how thin the petals and leaves are, but also how you color them. That will bright them up and your work will be, you know, in, in show. Okay. I also use, but I'm just pre presenting you uh, just like that, um, um, just for the sake of it, the, uh, the material. Another, another material that I'm using is Hardy. Hardy soft clay. And um, compared with gum paste, Hearty takes just 10% of the weight and a lot more of the volume. So these, this is a, a 200 gram package. But with this package, I'm making three times more flowers than the, 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 those that I have here, you know. And they will weight just 200 grams 
opposed to six, seven, eight hundred grams, you know, in gum paste. It all depends on what you want to do and what your clients want to do. But if you ask me, uh, there mustn't be differences in um, in liking one or another. The, yes, gum paste tends to get color more beautifully than uh, than Japanese clay. For this. From this um, uh, point of view, particularly, I just love love coloring um, uh, gum paste flowers. I can do shades, I can do light and darkness and buds and open flowers and um, flower that is almost going away. I can put all these moments onto a, a flower in gum paste. So I love it. Also, what do I want to uh, to tell you about this uh, this hearty soft? Look at this petal. It's a rose petal, and look and look how what you can do with it. You know. Yes, I am aware of the fact that um, uh, there are new sugar-based and cornstarch-based um, um, pastes nowadays. Um, that are not clay, but I'm not I'm not the, the biggest fan of um, um, of those. But I want, still want to say that although this this gum paste is considered edible, I mean it's not toxic. Um, I shouldn't be eating it. It's not meant to be eaten because you. You work them, you work um, all these flowers and all decorations or figurines or whatever you do, you work them with your hands, with your bare hands. And as proper, as clean as you can be on your hands, you can't be septic. It's, it's, it's impossible. And um, although satin ice has a great taste opposed to other gum pastes that I've tried, I still won't be eating, eating them. Also, a great danger is for people that don't have, they're not aware of, of this danger, is that all the petals contain the wires. And if a kid, or even an adult for that, you know, or if they stick a petal into, or, or a flower into their mouth, they can be, you know, they can stop this, this wire. And that could be very, very, very dangerous. And this is the reason which, uh, well, which is the reason why we always, always provided a certificate along with our um, uh, cakes or flowers that are designed to, to be put on um, on cakes, to let people know to to make them aware of the danger of uh, letting small kids around flowers, you know, and. As you can imagine, there are lots of things that can um, go on. Okay. Hmm? No. I'm uh, lamenting that So uh, sorry about those who don't speak Romanian that I'm mumbling now and now and then some uh, some words in in Romanian. Okay, so uh, show you again. This is um, um, a gum paste rose, no wires. And I can show you to prove that there are no wires. You know, you can see it. You know, no wires at all. <laughs> Obviously, the main stem. <laughs> okay, last I don't be better. And that is the the last thing that I'm going to show you before I start uh, my working. These, these clematis, um, uh, clematis, uh, clematis, no, no clematis, uh, wisteria. wisteria. These flowers of um, uh, wisteria flowers are part of my work that I uh, presented in 2015 at Cake International in uh, in UK, and we got a gold for that. Obviously, it was they weren't presented in a, you know, in a pot like that, but in a work that measured one meter twenty or something okay 
So please allow me now to go to the other side. You won't be seeing me. Um, you won't be seeing my face, but you'll see me working. All right. So Mariana will help me to um, to switch the ends, and uh, let's hope you'll enjoy. And uh, please, please write your questions down and. At the end of my presentation, I'm, um, I'll make sure that I will answer every one of you. That's in voice of Allow me to, uh, to say in Romanian the same thing, please. Uh, dragile mele, la sfârșitul uh, prezentării, uh, voi răspunde tuturor întrebărilor pe care mi le adresați, așa că mă, nu vă jenați să, să vă scrieți întrebările. Astfel încât să, mă, înainte să închidem mă, transmisiunea, să le pot trece în revistă și să, mă, să răspund fiecare dintre, dintre voi. În regulă? Mariana mă va, mă va ajuta și va face și același, același lucru acolo unde se descurcă cu limba. <laughs> Bine. Eu voi trece acum pe cealaltă, pe cealaltă parte și să trecem la treabă. Sper ca fiecare dintre voi să, să încercați să faceți mă, aceste flori. Decupatoarele și matrițele le găsiți la noi, le puteți comanda oricând doriți. Coloranții. Coloranți, de asemenea, evident, după cum știți, probabil. Și sper să văd cât mai, cât mai multe flori frumoase mă, din partea voastră. Uh, switch back to, um, to English now. I would like to uh, show you, perhaps some of you would be interested, to, to see, to to know what are the um, um, the colors that I'm using for coloring the clematis that I'm going to color. So the first color is this one, black currant. The second one is dogwood red. And the third one is dusky rose. These I'm going to use for the petals for the uh, as main color as um, shades and as light. And then for the leaves, I'm going to use these two, Rainforest and Eau de Lille, the two of them. And now let's get back to work. See you in a bit. Thank you. Să vedem dacă este ce trebuie acum. Op. Vom mai face o probă și voi să ne spuneți, vă rugăm, dacă vedeți, auziți. Stai că nu știu dacă vrea așa să știi. Da, vreau. Okay. Da? E în regulă. Așa. Acum o să vă rugăm să ne spuneți dacă ne auziți. Dăm voie. Stai că nu se vede în timp chiar real. Da. Da, o să mai mustru un pic. Stai că abia acum uh -huh. nu l-am prins pe ăsta. Nu e bine. Lasă că primi media. Da. Ne auziți? <laughs> Can you hear us? Hello! Yeah. Nu știu dacă ne auzim. Yeah. Totul este ok. Se vede foarte bine și se aude. Se aude. Perfect! <laughs> Gloria, Mihaela, Aura. Totul este ok. Mulțumim. Mulțumim, fetelor. Uh, pentru ce ce s-a întâmplat? Să poți să Da. Să ne spui tu te rog. Ok. Doamnelor, să ne facă și cu mâna dacă ne aud și ne văd. Can you tell us Can you tell us if you Oh, hello. <laughs> hello to the Gloria sau de la cine? Da. Nu, Gloria Stoica, da. Can anybody tell us that um, 
you can hear us abroad, not in Romania, but abroad. So, apparently we are all Romanians here, so if so, we will switch to Romanian, and that will be it. We have a little bit, a little bit of a delay, I have a big delay. Please, if there is anybody from abroad that needs me to speak English, let me know so as I can do that. If not, I will switch to Romanians and uh, we will see uh, we will see you in another time. Oh, so Flor de Maria. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start then. First of all, I would like I would like to tell you that these are two two ways um, to use. I speak English, Mary. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is one kind of of support that you can use. It's a thick board. It's um, uh, it's for cake decorating, and this. Is a healing, a healing board that is all purpose. You can use any of these two, which suits you better. Then you would need my long time favorite, a cake cell. Yeah, a cell cake brother. So you have five grooves, shorter grooves, and you have a longer one for long stems. Long, um, uh, long leaves, sorry. Okay, you have anti-sleeping mat over here. So, you have, you have to have, you need to have, and it's best to, uh, to have them. Two pieces, um, uh, rather two pieces of acetate, and you can, in order to slip your, um, your petals or leaves in between, so to keep them fresh, or a fresh mat or whatever you 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 find handy you need this uh you need this um, um this mat sponge sponge mat so you can use them for your you know to work on your petals it's strange because on uh, on the tv is um is a delay and um i can I'm not uh, I'm not being able to uh, to watch myself in real time. Oh, okay. Anyway. So these are essentials. What also you would need. For instance, I have this gorgeous balls ball tool from Sunflower Sugar Art. I've bought them. I've bought them um ordered them rather in the uh, United States and uh they shipped Quite all right, very very easy, and very uh, quickly. And thank I thank them for that. Sunflower um, uh, sunflower uh, sugar art are not sponsoring this um, this video either. So I want to to be sure that we understand each other. So I also hi Esther. Uh, yes, Flor. I hope you uh, you understand. And anyway, if there is any question you would like to ask me, you can put a comment, and I will make sure that I'll answer you. If not here, I will certainly um, answer it to you in a private message. So don't worry about. But please ask me whatever you feel like you need to know. Okay, so these are the the large amount of tools that we use the most often. These are the ones. 
So you have that. You have the rolling pin, the, the roller rather. You have these two small, smaller size, smaller uh, sizes, yes. Because you would need those, and I'll show you in a bit what to do with them. You have that in that will help you whether to to lift up your uh, petals or leaves from the board or to cut or to make indentations like that whatever you need you definitely need an exacto knife that's an indispensable tool that i would i would have i would choose to have and you have these to do all the marks or veins or whatever you want to you will need it okay so we have a set of cutters these are cutters for clematis four sizes and they are great as as uh, as well for the petals as they are for the leaves you turn them upside down and then you make gorgeous leaves with them so you don't need a whole range of cutters like 10 cutters in order to make two beautiful flowers so you have these and you can use them for others other flowers as well so they are very very they come very handy okay these two cutters are for the leaves For the leaves and especially they are for let me see if i can hold no i can't really um just just in a bit so to make to make the leaves along with these if you want to i have other set of cutters that are designed for very small clematis just simple clematis in general four petal clematis these are four and then as I said all the beautiful um, veiners that we've made ourselves after real petals and real leaves look at that look how gorgeous they are so they make one set small smaller and bigger um, petals and then here for the leaves if anybody is interested to uh, find out we can ship in European Union any country in European Union and um, although we can ship to um, United States and now UK it's a little bit more expensive, but we can do that. So, look at this. So, this is one big leaf that will make the composed leaf, leaf that Clematis has. Alright? So, I'm going to put these away and we'll start with uh, making the petals. Oh, before that, if you... If you don't have a cutter and if you don't want to buy a cutter you're not forced to so if you have a good quality veiner I'm not I'm not saying like that mine is the only one but if you have a good good quality veiner you can make yourself a pattern a cardboard pattern and you just put it on top of your of your paste and with your exacto knife you just go at 45 degree angle you just go alongside and you cut it and then you'll have a very nice petal that you'll just flip it onto your veiner the upside of the um, uh, the other side up and there you go you are one cutter free okay if you are um, in the beginning you know if you haven't done having made uh, many flowers you are as I said at the beginning please bear in mind that you need 
these ball tools they have to be very good quality what what is the best of the uh, very good quality what does it mean it means that when you do that when you rub your finger onto the uh, onto the ball you don't feel anything attaching to your skin i have lots of others um uh, i've have had lots of other tools like that that yes they were cheaper but they will have something you know that will scratch your paste and they are no good to you so these are the best for me i have the small one and then three other sizes it's more than plenty okay how do i how do i um, start my my flowers first of all i am making i am making my group of stamens how do you do that well very easy you do it like that i'm just i just pretend making it just for you to um, uh, to see so you get two fingers together and you take as much thread onto your fingers as you like you know you put them like that you take one uh, piece of one piece of uh, wire you just bend it a little bit you know to attach your your thread go into the middle not like i just did <laughs> go right into the middle of it like that okay grab the two sides like that use your tool to make sure that they are really tight closed here and grab it like that and you twist it like that another thing that i i used to do because i'm uh, a little bit paranoid if you want to but as you know you better be uh, safe than sorry so this is what i do afterwards take a little bit of uh, of green paper you don't need much you just cut a little bit don't forget pull it to activate you know the uh, the glue that it has on it and if you do that it has to stick to your fingers so this is the reason you keep it always in a plastic bag never in open air so you put you wrap around this thing you wrap around a little bit of paper like that between your fingers and you will hear me being a little bit you know insisting perhaps a little bit too much on the fact that you have to keep this paper between your fingers and not to get it smushed like that you know just pull it keep it straight and rub it between your fingers at 45 degree angle and you go down and everything it will stick perfectly to your wire look at that you know look once you do that i'm not going all the all the way down once you do that the other thing that you need to do is with a little bit of wire or uh, a little bit of uh, a thread just you go around you pull it while you go around and you do that to make sure it doesn't go anywhere just do that okay where's my 
here and with your paper don't forget you just you, you could have it in half or just a little bit the important thing is to go around and seal this thread not to let it not to allow it to open you do just that once you do that once you did that brother cut it cut all the threads okay try to make them equal then okay what do you do next if you need this this thread to be uh, tinted in any any color that you um, uh, you like you just dust it and in order to do so you just take a little bit of um mari da. Uh, un șervețel, te rog, ca să nu murdăresc aici. I have prepared here some flower with dust colors. You know, as you can see, they are different, different colors. So, I have this one here. I will take some of the glue, some of the glue, and we'll just tap it, just the tips of it, just the tips of, of the would-be stamens, tap them into the, uh, into the glue, and then onto this. And you let them, and you let them to uh, to dry. Look. So, do you have any questions um, uh, for me, please, up to this point? Because I'm, uh, I haven't. Bună, uh... Silvia. Da, n-am, n-am salutat pe Silvia, așa că. So, if you have any questions for me, please, please do so. If you any questions, da. Where? Esther. Esther. On the flower artists are a lot of members looking. Uh, it it went away. So please in English. Okay. Yes. Of your of group. Okay, Ma Esther. Okay. So this is the easiest way you can make uh, your own stamens. So please free, feel free to, um, to, to use this technique and you'll see how delighted you'll be. Because you will... Uh, uh, how is that called in English? Well, you don't spend too much money. Um... Oh, I forgot. Econom. Okay. So, once you did this thing, if you want to tint a little bit the stamens, if you want to make them uh, look uh, yellowish or peachy or whatever, you just use another, uh, another color and with the brush, with your brush, a brush like that you just put it into your into the desired color and you and from the the bottom to the top you just brush them like that and you turn around and you brush them like that okay and there you'll have 
this type of, uh, of stamens. I don't think uh, it was something uh, difficult to understand. I'm sure you got the uh, you got the uh, the technique. So I can uh, carry on. One thing I really I'm really insisting upon during my classes and even in front of myself. You know when uh, when I bent my wires, I tend to tell myself, well, don't do that. It's not a good thing to do that. So I'm telling, I'm telling it to you too. Please keep your eyes as straight as possible because that will help you a lot when uh, touching the flowers, uh, touching the leaves, uh, touching the petals want to, to form the flower. Keep the wire as straight as possible. Okay. We will uh, start making the petals and leaves. How to how can you prepare? How is best for you to prepare your board? First of all, the best the best thing you can do for yourself, first of all, is to uh, while working in sugar and clay as well, but while working in in sugar. It's best to have to wear cotton cloth, cloth gloves. Uh, why is that? Because all the the tiny fluffy thing from your from your clothes it will be transferred to your paste, and that's very. It's not nice for somebody to see to see that in, into your flowers. So uh, please do this effort and. And work, work, work this out. It is for the, for the best for everybody. So, a little bit of Crisco I have here. I'm preparing my my board. Very little bit. You just spread it well, very well, and all the uh, indentations, as well as on your on your finger. Okay, that will help you a lot. I will show you how to use these these um, these molds that I I create. And although I'm not going to uh, to make a huge clematis for now, I'm going to show you how to make a petal in this onto this big Venus. You know. So we prepared our board. What do you do next? You prepare your molds to do the same thing. See. I'm spreading onto my fingers and then what I'm interested in is to take the edges. If I'm doing if I'm doing this properly, that will help me take away the excess in case I don't have cutters for any shape or any um, uh, measure size of uh, of my vein, my, my venus. So it's very very important to have that at hand, a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, Crisco or um, or Trex. So we do that. We do that. Take the the axis off. Never leave too much on uh, on your molds. Also, I don't think I need to tell you, but let's let's pretend you don't know that before you use them. Even if they are your own, you keep you keep um, the molds in your own cupboard. Please wash your um, wash your um, your veins. It's the best. It's the safest way to keep all problems away. So wash them with a little bit of um, of soap, and then uh, wash them with clean water. Don't rub them in order to dry them. Just tap them with a little bit of um, a little bit of paper. And let them dry. Okay, so let's prepare this quickly as well. Rub the edges, that's the main thing you need. And you will find out that it's going to be a lot, a lot easier to take, uh, to take the, uh, the petals and the, uh, the leaves off your uh, veins. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we have a large set of uh, of molds ready. Now down to the wires. According to the color of your of your flower, if your flower is whitish, yellowish, um, pinkish, reddish, I tend to use white um, white wires. For instance, what gauge would you use for this side, for this this size of um, of petals, even to this side of petals, I tend to uh, to to use for this one. No, I'm I'm lying. For this one up, for this one up, I tend to use twenty six gauge. For this side down, this size down, obviously, I'm using. 28 how do you prepare this uh, this part you just take a number of wires off the package well as soon as I can get that okay let's two let's get two or three of them and you cut them in three let's say let's see they have 36 um, uh, centimeters they are 36 centimeters uh, long so get your tool cut it and then you know this way you have them ready so we have a number of of wires ready for your um, for your petals and you do the same for the uh, for the leaves how much wire do you insert into your petals i'm going to show you that on uh, on the venus so you have to decide before beforehand you have to decide this beforehand what will be the shape of your um, of your petal your petal it will stay upwards like that it will be bent upwards like that it will be bent downwards like that or it will stay even like that that will tell you how much of the wire you should insert because if you put your ins your your wire as long as that all you can do with this um, with this is just to bend it a little bit from there to there that's all you can do or that if your wire is a little bit shorter you can do a lot more things with it you see because otherwise your wire it will stick out through your paste and then drying it will just crack and fall the paste will, will you know it will uh, the, uh, the the petal will will fall down so if you don't know or if you don't know how to do it or if you not decided what to do with your with your petals make sure that you not insert uh, you you do not insert your your wire more than 1 cm and a half into your into your paste this way you can have a little bit of time to play with it to think about if you don't have a plan ahead you know you just so for a, for such a big leaf a centimeter and a half it's more than enough accordingly in in a petal that's that's short that's more five to seven uh, millimeters is more than enough and then you can go up to about one centimeter but that's all that's all you need more than that you don't need the same here you know one centimeter and that's it and that's the same the same thing goes for goes for the um, uh, for the leaves okay gum paste as i said i'm working with uh, satinized gum paste i know it by by heart by you know um, I have a, I have a, um, um, a favorite expression in order to uh, to tell you uh, what does this mean, how how this space works for me, and 
you know why I feel so confident in the wind tweet is that if for I don't know which which reason the light goes off, I know exactly what to do with it. I don't need light to know exactly how we, how it works. So if you if you find a material that you love at that point, stick with it. Don't mind my words because everything that sticks um, uh, works for you. What's what works best for you? That's the best for you. Period. You don't have to. Uh... So you roll your paste, you know, like that, and then you try to stretch it. That will give your 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 paste the. Uh, the elasticity that you need so you do that we won't be using all that for a, for one petal obviously but you you have work it out and then you put it aside and you take off just a little a little ball out of that as you need so this is all we need for now but we put it onto the plastic make a ball make a drop you know it will be like that and here we're going to insert our um wire jenny cu siguranță dacă dorești te-am te putem învăța how much how much of the wire you insert into the glue it's a mistake to keep to um, to grab your wire from from there and do that into your into your glue now just have control of your wire so please just just stick it i don't know five millimeters at most one one centimeters into your into your glue and you can barely see the glue on um on my wire and then what do you do Using this, this movement, rolling, rolling and pushing, you just take the excess off on, on the back of your hand. Not here, not here, you know, just, just here. You do that, slightly do that, you know. And I don't, I don't push the, the, um, the glue, the sugar glue, I don't push it too much there because I don't need it. Okay, so you insert not just pushing but but you push and and roll push and roll and in order to to be sure that you don't you don't insert too much water into your into your paste you just put it in the, in the center roll and you have exactly the um, the amount of wire so then press it Press it, press it, and you push the air that you insert into the in, inserted into the paste. You push it out. So press it here and al alongside the wire, you know. And then here you just press a little bit more, and then you, as if you make a cross, you know. There. And this is how it looks. You can turn it upside down, roll it to make it as less visible as possible. If it's too much here, if it's too much, you can uh, you can take it off. If it's not enough, you can you can work it out again. So on um, we put it on a, on our board that we we've, we've prepared it. I'm not putting it like that i'm putting above where is the uh, the less um, the width is uh what's the name anyway here it's 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 larger here it's it's not it's thinner so here please okay so we do that keep your wire alongside the uh, the indentation press with your finger take your rolling pin and then from the from the half halfway up and halfway down please but not very hard not not like that you know that's not okay so you have to do it gradually 
So, in order to control, to control the pace, to see where it goes, how it goes, and then from the middle to the to the left or and right, you do that. You do that. Easy. It's better to to make three, four more movements than to uh, do a wrong one and and to be forced to take this step all over um, all over again. Now and then you can check the thickness of your um, of your petal of your of your paste. You have to to keep it uh, equal. What is equal? Equal the uh, the left with the uh, to to the right. Okay, so we do that. We check the size of uh, of our molds. We check if you want to to use one mold, one uh, one cutter, or we just go without. You can do both. I'll show you how to do with the cutter. You press the cutter down. You push a little bit back and forth, just a little bit. Keep pushing down, and then you take the excess off. Switch the hands, push down, take the excess off. The excess, you put it right back under, under plastic. And then you lift your cutters, cutter, you clean it, and you have the excess away from, from, your, from your board. You know? Look, away from your board. How do you lift this up? Well, you can use that if you are more um, uh, confident into this or just your bare hands, whatever you want. You will see that you will have, uh, how do you call that? I'm sorry, I don't know the English name for, um, for this, but you have to have clean edges. You just push back, push back the, uh, the you know, look the the little the little edges that are not properly cut. Secure, always secure your um, your wire here before you go uh, you go along. Do that. You need to secure your wire. Okay, now. We move on to our mat, we take our ball tool, Oops. and what do we do we do? We don't want to make to make this, this petal too long, so we don't start from down up. We, we start from up down to keep it this size, but we want to make it a little bit larger. So we just go the edges, go on the edges and make them a little bit thinner a little bit thinner halfway on the board and halfway on the on the paste this is what what we aim to do and you see the edges you see the difference between the difference between this thickness and this one it's normal once we put them, we, we, we will put it into, uh, into our veiner, it will work very fine. Now, we need a little bit, we need it to be a little bit larger. So we go and enlarge it here. We go and enlarge it here. What you do on one side, you have to do it, we have to do on the other side. But never with your ball tool onto the wire. Never. Just take this side and this side and work it out and we enlarge the petal where we need it obviously if you need if you if you need that i would rather i would rather uh, make it a little bit thicker and work it out as um, as i need it than to try and define from the start what what thickness do i have to uh, to make my, my petal from the start is is more difficult to uh, to divine like that it just i 
I like to, to work it out as it suits me. Then what do you do? Well, check if you did whatever you needed to do. So check if it fits on your, on your mold. And it kind of fits. How do you press the worm? How do you put it into the mold? Make sure this wire comes comes right alongside the main the main vein. Otherwise, you will have not so nice petals or leaves because uh, they will have double uh, double indentations, and that that's not nice. You put it down. You make sure that this is centered. You just keep it a little bit, but not you don't push too hard. You don't press too hard one to another. But what you do press, where we do you do press is the tip and the edges. You go around, but never let go here. So you press. You you switch hands. You do the same. Look, you do the same here. And then the last thing you do is just a bit of pressure in, in, on the center. On the center, a little bit of pressure here, but a little bit more of pressure towards the, uh, the tip of it. And look how it, how it looks. If it went through a little bit, you know, over past the tip of it. You can work it now. Whether do that. Never use the plastic. Use the plastic tool, please, and never, never the uh, the exacto knife on your molds. Where is my exacto knife? It's dropped somewhere. So please don't do that with your with your um, exacto knife on the molds. Never because you'll ruin your your molds, and that's it's a pity. Even if you buy them off me, it's a pity. Okay, so how do you take it off from from here? You just do that, and then you know, just grab, grab it like that, and you peel it. You don't pull it, you just peel it. And this way your petal keeps all the all the characteristics of a, of a nice um, um, petal, clematis petal. You make sure that your wire is secure like that. That is not too thick here and then you you put it on top. No, just the Mikasa. Okay. How do you um, how do you get to um, to dry your uh, your petals? Well, it's very very easy. A little bit of uh, of aluminium foil. You just press it. Take this off. Take this off. You put your Hmm? You put your uh, you put your petal to dry. Why our um, our molds are great because um, they they give you the real movement and the real indentations in any any um, any leaves or um, or um, or petals. I don't know if you you can see. Uh, I can try. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So that's how you do the nice petals of um, of clematis. Now I'll show you uh, just a, um, uh, a a big one, and then we move on onto the onto the leaves. It's exactly the same uh, the same thing, but just to show you how it works. Um, la petală. La petala asta mică am folosit un 28. 
Asta, la, la, la petala aceasta și mai mică decât aceasta, 28. De exemplu, dacă aveți petale foarte mici, mai mici decât, de mai mici decât asta, treceți deja în 30, evident. Acum vom folosi 26, măsura 26. So for um, for this this petal, I'm going to use 26 gauge wire. Uh, so I'm going to use this number. Cut my wire. O să-mi pui tu la loc, te rog, ca să nu... Ok. Stick it a little bit into... into my glue. Leave it aside until I prepare my petal. I just leave it here. It's ready for me. I take some some gum paste off. Always roll it in order to uh, to be sure that all the edges are warmed up and the paste is uh, elastic. It's about that. Let's see. We do that. The uh, the drop size. It's it's a lot of paste for for this petal, but you'll see how we take the excess off. Okay, so stick it into the middle and pushing by through rolling, all right, and then press sideways, and then on the center, and then clip here and here. And here and secure and secure your um, your wire. Okay, once you've done that, you can do that a little bit, or you can put it on the board, and you can press with your brawler. As I said, halfway up and then halfway down, and then halfway left and halfway right and then we take the, the axis off in the sense that we push it up and we push it left and right and here we decide how thick we need to be our petal or our leaves or whatever we do this is where we need where we need to decide and in doing that we need to test the edges I will try to show you. This is this is a little bit um, uh, too thick, too thick for me. So I'm going to take more of it out. So I'm making it like like that. Look, I'm taking the bigger. The bigger cutter and because i i pushed too much the um, um too, far, too much my my paste i can see where my wire is it's about here so i'm not going to take to take it all that way i'm going to move my my cutter halfway up in order to make sure that the wire is not is not sticking too much into my uh, into my paste so move it a little bit, grab your paste, take the excess off, press with the other, the other hand and just take your excess off. If you have any rest around here that disturbs you or whatever, you just take it off like that. Before you do anything else, put your paste away. We take this off, we clean the cutter away from our board and then and we peel away. 
we secure first of all before anything else we secure our wire okay so we don't move on until we do that then you take your ball if you're if it's too hot or if it's too humid or you have hands too warm it happens so all 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 of these things happen so what do you, what can you do is use a little bit of cornstarch take the excess off and put it up put, put it back this way it will dry up a little bit the um, uh, the paste and the moist in your uh, in your hands it will go go down it will be taken off so keep an eye always keep an eye on your mold so as to see what shape of uh, of um, of petal you you making and you thin it on the edges thin it on the edges and then if you want to uh, to make it a little bit larger go from the from the middle towards the edges and then you thin it then you thin it you press it okay then you take it you lift it actually you put it into your mold you place the uh, the tip at his place the wire here and as I said never press here but from here up and you never move the two hands at once always one hand on the mold and always the other one is moving around pressing or doing whatever it has to do but always one hand is on the mold otherwise you will have double um, double veins double veins on uh, on your petals and that's not nice at all and look so you can obviously see my my wire is alongside the main vein how do you take it off as i said a little bit put a little bit a little bit of air underneath and then you just peel it you peel it away you secure again your wire and um, you don't do it like, like like I do now you do it in advance right <laughs> this is the way do it in advance because otherwise you're not being you're not going to be too happy okay with this piece of, uh, of aluminium foil you can bend it as you want to so this is going this is what is what is going to be the shape of your um, of your petal it all depends on you what you want how you want it to uh, to stay and you let it dry okay now I'm going to show you how to make uh, how to use uh, these molds and make one leaf just let me put this uh, aside okay I have prepared here green I had uh, white gum paste let me put it aside white gum paste and I've colored my uh, my white gum paste into green using using dust color yes just dust color so do it uh, beforehand do it uh, I don't know six hours in advance and then uh, roll your paste and make sure that all the all the bits of dust is uh, is dissolved by the paste and that's it 
I don't need to do um, anything else. Look, it's gorgeous, a gorgeous color. So, work a little bit your paste. Make it round. With a little bit of um, Trex or Crisco or whatever. Okay. Another way to do that, to insert the wire, is this. Press it on the indentation. You can work it like that, like that, up and down. Make sure that what you do on one, on, uh, on one direction, you do to the other as well. We check the thickness, we make sure it's equal, and then we move on. We cut we have the the, the tip and the uh, the edge of uh, along the along the indentation here move a little bit press your cutter down and take the excess off clean your your cutter okay look and look how it how it shows underneath what i do now because it's a little bit too uh too thin i'm taking a bit off um okay okay 26 gauge wire right a little bit of um of glue a little bit of that and then I take the measure so I don't insert much more than than I have here so I have it I have an eye on it and between the two fingers you just push and roll push and roll push and roll and you can see look you can see it but you can't see it to the other side so now we push a little bit the air out and then we secure here the paste. We keep it upside down and we thin it here. It looks like that. We move it onto the onto the mat. We use a little bit of cornstarch. Because it's a little bit too hot for uh, for me now not for me for the paste i mean and we work it out i would rather work with this bigger ball ball size so i do that i don't want i don't want it to to make it longer i will just want to roll the edges to thin the edges and then i would like to make it a little bit um larger so it goes it goes on that you see a little bit larger and yes i can make just from rolling it i can make this side by hand just by rolling it i don't need a special cutter for that obviously if i want to i can have one but if i don't want to i can make it and be quite all right don't forget what you do on the neck on the on the left side you do on the right side you don't thin it on the on one side and leave it um larger on the on the other so my sister tells me that um some of you are um are uh, are gone so i i hope i didn't bore you too much okay you see how easy it's to just work this corner of a, a tip of a, of this um, 
Leaf. Pierderea este a lor. Ah, ok. It's a little bit larger, this one. And if we want to, we can take a little bit of, of the tip away. Like that. We put it into onto the uh, the veiner. We find the right place for it. Okay. Put set the other side up. Before we press, we make sure that it's centered here. So it is, and then all the edges, especially all all the edges. We switch hands and we go around the edges on the other side. If you want to check, you can check and see if it's enough. If it's not enough, you just go back. But before you press, you make sure it goes by itself where it should go. Don't press yourself because it will uh, you'll make uh, double veiners and that's not nice okay so we have to take it off a little bit of air and we peel it and look how nice it is okay what we can do here we can take a little bit of paste off and there we have the beautiful, the beautiful um, leaf, and we set it to dry. I have done some um, uh, some petals and leaves um, uh, last night for you, so as so as I can show you now how to uh, how to paint them to dust them, which we're going to uh, to do right now. How do you make the setup for that? Take everything away, all the cutters, all the all the molds, all the veiners, all the bits and bobs. You clean your surface right and we have prepared a tray how do how do you prepare it just a napkin you just stick the corner with uh, with some um, how do you call that okay well you stick the corners in order not to move and you take your um, your design colors we will for the for the petals we will use three colors these three colors so dusky rose blackcurrant and dogwood red this is my darkest shade this is my light and this is the middle color i take some color and put on onto my napkin like that and keep my colors with me to make sure that in case i need i know exactly what color I used and I know exactly what color I uh, I want to, to use more Obviously, you can 
color the, the, uh, the clematis in any color you you want a little bit a medium color the deep colored just white just off white any any color you you want so let's take let's take what bit let's take a piece like that So as I said, they are made last night. They're not fresh. Look, they are dry. How do you color them? Take a brush. How do you prepare your brush for coloring? You take your brush for red. And first you charge your, you charge your, uh, your brush. How do you do that? Always the tips. The, the tip of the brush you don't you don't do that with your brush into the um, the colors and you go here and you break all the particles from which the, uh, the the color the particular color is made so look what do you do now you don't use the the brush like that not not like that but always you put your petal or or leaf you put it at hand and you brush first of all you brush like that you turn around your hand bend a little bit the wire if it is in your way and you do the other side and you take more color don't be afraid of color you need color to color you don't need nothing to color you need color to color <laughs> does it make any sense okay and your hands are mobile so you put your petals your petals or leaves you put them handy you just um you put them at hand. You don't, you don't go around like a lunatic trying to uh, to get in. Very close to you. <laughs> and then keep it support from from, uh, from uh, behind. And you you pull your brush through the wire, and you make that. It needs to be very very um, uh, very dark because this is this is where this is from where the petals go up you know so they are darker in uh, in in shade only now that you go you went around look that's break broke so i need to only now you need to go towards the middle And from here, from here up. You don't stop in the middle because otherwise you'll have all kind of lines and that's not nice. If you want darker color, you can go ahead. If you don't, if you can match, if you, if you want to match other shades, you, we can do that. How do you do that? You clean a little bit your brush, go inside the other color, break the particles of, uh, of color tap it to leave the excess off and go ahead and put the, the middle color from the bottle from the from the bottom up from the bottom up and back from the bottom up and back and then you take a little bit of color more color and you go on the sides and you turn around and you do the same thing if you want more color you can add more color now what do we do we go on the other side we clean our brush as you say uh, as, as you see nothing else just brush it onto the uh, the napkin and 
from the edges to the middle we just take all the the colors in from the tip down from the bottom of the petal up and then what we can do a little bit of color and look what you do you go around and you chase all the veins all right you chase the veins with your um, with your brush not not um not the other way around now i really want it more a little bit more 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 colored so i i want to add a little bit of that not everywhere but here and there and i put a little bit of color okay and leave it this is how you do that with the same the same brush you clean it you take that light color and you put the light the light for this for this petal we just put the light we put here the dark the dark and here we put the light okay and and that is done okay okay when the Mm -hmm. obviously when you have all the uh, all the petals um, uh, done you can uh, steam it steam it above um, uh, oh, a kettle just do that that you touch the you you, you touch the um, uh, the hot air you touch it and go you touch it and go you don't stay above above uh, above the kettle too long because it will melt your um, your flower but that will fix the flower and you won't have to use uh, any other any other products okay how do you do now with the leaves we take we have two colors for the leaves rainforest and ordinal we take a little bit of rainforest and we put it here the advantage of uh, of doing things like that as i show you is that once you finished of coloring you don't throw anything away you just un untie them from from here you put another another napkin on top of it you just fold it put it in uh, inside a plastic um, a plastic bag and you have your colors ready for next time and you know exactly what colors you did use and you can carry on using them okay so now we take the brush for the green as you can see my brush is for the green it's so it, it has in a lot of uh, a lot of um, leaves already how can I how can I say that because it's very very little left uncolored on my brush on my brush okay so the leaf ah oh, that's that the that's the um, the new one Opa. okay so I have one leaf here so it's done last night as i said always the face the face up the leaves looks at you so this is what you color first at least in in my technique this is how i how i do it so you keep your leaf close to your part of uh, of color and you start from the tip down more color 
and I go on the edges first. I turn around. I do the same on the other side. Go here in between. Do the same thing. And now we have to really avoid touching the um, the edges or to put your fingers onto the leaf because it will uh, your fingerprint will stay there. What do you do now? Take a little, take more more color, charge your your brush, and you go from here to there and back, here to there and back. This is how we do it, and then alongside the veins. Not like that, but like that, and following the uh, the veins. Obviously, I I work standing. I never. I never color uh, anything while uh, sitting because I can't see what I'm doing. So this is what I um, I advise you to do. But uh, after all, everybody is doing um, how it feels right for you for for him. But this is this is my advice. And then I keep this and charge all the all the veins and I stop in the middle and I turn around charge the the brush and do the same and I stop in the middle I don't go from one side to the other side never and then once I'm happy with oh, one once I'm happy with the color it happens so when that happens, it breaks, you make sure that you put color on top of it. You turn around and keeping your brush flat, parallel with the, um, uh, with the veins, you just brush away, brush away the veins. And there you are. Look. And you have all the nice veins, you know, striking, striking the uh, the eye. Okay, you do that. You clean your brush. And now we have to cool down. The upside, uh, the, uh, the the back of the the back of the um, leaf. the leaf. So we cool it down with um, Odonil uh, color. So we do exactly the same thing. We just cool it down. And. If you if we feel like we just you now go back and put it up a little bit like that darker, and that's it darker color and this is how you do it you know? and we set it we to uh, steam it we steam it if you as I said if you want to and um you then you have to dry them that's that's uh that's for sure a, a thing that you have to do you have to uh, to dry them and then when when they are well dried you uh, you get to um to uh, to attach it i will show you on these white um, uh, white petals how to attach um a clematis i'm just uh, cleaning a little bit my uh, my hands some wipes could you please take this away from me thank you hmm? and then in case I have some colors then I need to make sure they're not in my way take the all this excess off and 
throw them away. How do you prepare? How do you prepare all um, all the petals uh, to be uh, tied, tied up together? You arrange the petals according to the size, always, and then you see the number of uh, of petals that you have, the shape of them. You want um, you want um, uh, many many flowers with uh, with few petals. You do just that. If you want a, one flower with many 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 petals, you are free to do that. But you decide. But before you do anything else, you just arrange them according to the size and also according to the shape of them. Obviously, if you have petals shaped like that, you anyone can can say that they are outwards not inwards so uh, this is how this is how you have to arrange them you know mm -hmm. and look this is a light peach color and you can as as you can see when you have to arrange them uh, to put them one to, beside beside the, the other you have to have this lightness in moving them uh, the petals so don't tie them very 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 well you you need to perhaps to put it up a little bit you just put it up and then you set it where you need to be more to be set and then you put petals down to uh, to fill all the all the empty say all the empty spaces so there you have a, a clematis that is wide open. The same, the same here. Okay, so you do need petals that are a little bit flattish, others that are curled, others that are curled inside or outside. It all depends on the on the design that you um, you intend to um, to make. And look at this one. Just five petals like that you can you can um, close it you can open it you can make others win just in four petals it all it's all up to you but I have here what do we I have here 11 petals they are all kind of sizes so I'll show you how I'll ar arrange them all just all in one flower Let's take, let's take our uh, middle. Okay, how do you prepare your petals to be tied up? Always like that. You just grab them here and with your, with your, um, um, uh, yeah. nail. And with your nail, you just press it down and you have a right angle. I am crazy about this um, this little uh, tip because it really helps you. And obviously, I found out uh, that it it helps you through uh, my own experience. Don't you think that I'm uh, I was born that uh, that smart smart. Uh, Something I can't pronounce the word because I might be. Pare foarte simplu din 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 mana mea. Vine cu exercițiu, dragilor. Asta vă asta vă pot asigura. Ne amintim și și acum de prima de prima criza antemă pe care am făcut-o fără să să avem habar de nimic. Da, cred că avea. 150 grams. So I was uh, I was telling my uh, my fellow Romanians about my first flower because they were saying that um, it seems very um, very easy what I'm what I'm doing. And I told them that it all that comes with experience. So my first uh, my first chrysanthemum that I've ever had, I think 
it weighed i don't know 150 grams it was huge it almost almost uh, break the break the cake broke the cake okay so we have the center we go and set the wires no we don't do that we first um, get our um, our paper ready how do you do that whether you have this thickness i usually cut it in two and have it ready for whenever i need it obviously obviously there are little devices that cut cut it in two i all i've never used it just used a pair of scissors but you can feel if you are free to use whatever suits you so pull it activate the um, um the glue on it and then start to have a look at at the petals the way you want to uh, to have them feel free feel free to uh, experiment don't get too um, too tight in uh, oh my god i don't know how many petals oh my god the petal is not uh, curved um, uh, enough is not well curved or oh it's too thick or it's too thin it comes with experience and look five petal clematis i take one petal off look it's four petal clematis sorry so it's a four petal clematis and it's done you know i want to make one with more more petals i add up petals not a problem and how do i do put the um, um the tape i usually start down in order to make sure that i have access and then go upwards towards the towards the the stamens and i do that you spend a little bit of time here but believe me it will worth it be it will be worthwhile so do that It's easier to start a little bit down, uh, under under uh, well, two centimeters away from uh, from where the petals uh, are getting uh, together, because otherwise it will be very very difficult to. Uh, and then you arrange them. This is too big. I'll just put you inside. Okay. And I have the uh, the tape ready to take the others. So I'll go and see where I like them to be. I put it here. Never pull from here. Just you just arrange them, but never pull the petals from the from the from the tips, the tip of it. Hey, come on. If you feel insecure, you just have a, a little bit, a tour of, um, of paper. It's not a problem. You can do that. If that helps you pulling them together, you do that okay let's put this one like that i like the the shape of it let's put it here
and I have two more let's see where I put them as you can see my clematis is a little bit crazy but that's fine it's just my flower it's she's just like me I don't mind I don't mind being called crazy, you know. I am indeed crazy about making flowers. I love them. Yes, uh, Mary is uh, is right. It's clematis. It really really gives you opportunity to play and go crazy it comes in all sorts of colors shapes numbers of petals it just it's very versatile and it yeah it's great on uh, it's great on cakes Dar bineînțeles că le puteți face și în clay pentru diverse polio cum se cheamă am un tape tape yes polio tape constantly in order to have uh, to have it um... and look how it looks underneath it's almost the, the, the same thickness and it's proper and you can stop whatever that that suits you i'll stop just uh, just here i don't need that much um, uh, of a wire so i'll just cut it I stick it here and I use the uh, the rest of the uh, the rest of the the, um, the tape to attach if I need to attach it to uh, to attach it to the to the stem of the uh, of the flower how do you do that just in case supposing that you're using just this just the this leaf you bent it like that you put it like that and then i'll i better explain then show you with the flower because you won't understand too much i'll show you like that this is the stem of the flower let's put it white away this is the stem uh mari poți să-mi spui dacă mă se vede ce fac eu aici că aș vrea să arăt pe alb okay deci, suppose, supposing this is the stem of the flower, this is the, uh, the leaf, you do that. Ah, thank you, darling. You're welcome. So you put the flower away. This is the flower. You put it away so as not to touch it. You, um, you take the tape. You go one tour around, you pinch it here, go one tour, and then you definitely, definitely have to go in between the two and down. You pull, 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 and go down like that down and around and here 
and you do that and you do that and this way you secure your leaf and it won't it it doesn't go from here it doesn't go anywhere all right as far as clematis is concerned i'll just take this off and i'll show you how you have to how you should attach them uh, botanically correct uh, let's say like let, let's say that hey right, i'll take this off okay so we have these you have this this is a little bit further down and we take it that way the other one we take it this way we bent it not take it and you do that give a little bit of thickness to this to this stem okay pretend the, uh, the these two uh, these two uh, leaves are um, are colored all right we put them alongside once go around before i do another round i go back and in between and as an x i pull i go back and in between the other two as another x and then i take care of my tape press it and then go down all the way down and then once I finished rolling my tape around, this is what I do. I arrange them a little bit, like that and like that, and I cut this um, especially so as I um, I can handle I can handle it easier. So I need to work a little bit on this. On this here I don't want it to be too thick so I need to work it a little bit and then you can bend it you can arrange it and you can you know attach it and we can attach it to the flower and there it is eu, eu cred că da. Uh, yes, Mary, I think you can you can watch it even if uh, we're not um, um, we're not live at that moment. The only thing you can't do after we're closing this live is to ask me questions and me answering to your questions live. But I, um, you definitely have to uh, to be able to um, uh, to watch it, and if you have um, any questions, you can ask them um, anyway, and I'll certainly make sure of um, answering you. So now, if you still uh, are able to uh, to ask me some questions, I will be glad to um, to ask you. To answer you. The, to answer you. Sorry. <laughs> I'll ask you when I'll see you making flowers. <laughs> Until then, you ask me and I'll, uh, and I'll be glad to, uh, to answer to you. Let's put them, let's put this one here with, along with the others. Acum, dacă mai vrea cineva ceva despre clematis, să repetăm sau ce? So, anyone have 
Any questions for me, please? Is 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 something that I didn't uh, explain to too well or to your understanding? I don't know. I mumbled, which I do. I'm I'm sure of that. Oh, for those who are not aware of this um, little aspect, I'm not English speaker. I'm Romanian, so um, I've learned English because I'm deeply, deeply in, and forever in love with um, English language. But I'm not a, I'm not an English native, so um, so yes, bear with me when I mumble when i stumble okay uh -huh. da. Da, da, da. mulțumesc mulțumesc silvia <laughs> da ne-am ne bucurat să, să ne revedem okay ladies from uh, from abroad Any questions for me? And not only um, uh, ladies from abroad, but ladies in my in my own country, they know uh, they know they can they can talk to me and uh, ask me questions. Ce lipici ăsta o clipă? Doina Ce lipici folosiți? Um, dacă n-am dacă ai răspuns tu? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, am uh, folosit, am folosit, unde Dumnezeu este? Aici. Ok. Am folosit um, um, Tylo powder, am fiert puțină apă și am amestecat, um, am lăsat, am hidratat practic, am lăsat să se hidrateze um, granulele de, um, de Tylo powder și ea arată așa. Și o puteți păstra mă, la frigider, o puteți păstra la temperatura camerei, nu are nicio problemă, se păstrează. Și se vinde și ca atare da. comestibil. Bineînțeles că mă, există, mă, așa zisul, edible glue, care este cam același lucru, cred că este exact același lucru, și se vinde și ca atare, adică gata, gata preparat pentru, pentru folosire. Dar cu o cutiuță de asta de, de tylo, vă faceți mă, lipici, cred că pentru vreo 10 ani. Așa, bună seara, Mariana. Da, mulțumim. Da, și eu, și eu mă bucur că, că ne-am văzut la Moldova nouă și da, mi-ar plăcea să, să ne revedem. Cu siguranță. Toate cele bune și ție. Ok, Sam, English speakers. Any questions for me, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies. So, if uh, you don't have any any other questions for me, I'll um, I'll be glad if you attempt to um, uh, to use the information that I gave you and make your own flowers. And I'll be very glad if you uh, uh, send me a picture to see. Și iar pentru, mă, pentru voi, doamnelor, dacă, mă, dacă voi aveți, aveți vreo întrebare, alta decât laude, alta decât mă, să ne transmiteți că voi e doar de noi, ceea ce și nouă ne este doar de voi și abia așteptăm să, mă, să ieșim din, din povestea asta și să ne putem deplasa mai, mai liber, mai... COVID, da, 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 vis-a-vis de, de COVID-ul... Asta care ne dă, ne, dă de bătaie, ne dă bătaie de cap. Uh, Mari, tu mai vezi, vezi vreo întrebare mă, no. mă, de la fete ca no. să nu le... No. Ok, deci, doamnelor, vă lăsăm. Sperăm să, mă, să vă fi fost de folos. Sperăm că v-a plăcut ce ați văzut. Sperăm că veți spune în practică, cum spuneam. Sperăm că ne-a arătat și nouă, ca să ne bucurăm și noi. Și să ne vedem curând. So, see you. Bye. Bye.